Ja, ja. Yo, you want to run these ads up in a sec? Yeah, I literally have everything put. Huh? Yeah, I'll, we'll share it right now. Earn it. That's why I'm in love with my double cup. I bought an AP to fuck it up. Cause I'm trying to fuck the face up. I've been fucking with a wizard. Oh, look at this. You guys. Oh, look at that sunset. Manny, you know what's going on, boy. Hey, come out here. I know you're always in San Diego. Come visit me soon, bro. Have to. Come see the view and everything. These are the views of the 97%, guys. Not many people get to experience these in their lifetime. Oh, there's Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez. Skip ad. Ha! This person said we're on our way. Okay. We're on our way, they say. <laughs> You're fucking hilarious. <sighs> oh. Hey, just look in the sky. You know where I'll be. <laughs> this view, guys, it's gorgeous. I was actually putting in my goals a couple months ago before I got here. I will live in a penthouse before my lease is up at my old apartment. And I did right before my lease got up. I locked this place in about two weeks before. Got in here, guys. Trust me. I wanted this building. I wanted to live here for a very long time. And it took a lot of hard work. Overall, it took a lot of consistency, guys. I was living in, like, not the ideal place I wanted to live in. Like, I lived in a nice apartment and everything. But me, I always wanted more and more and more. So with me, I was like, all right, what's the next move? How am I going to be living in the environment that I want to be in? And you guys need to think of it this way. When you're living in a wealthier environment, you have to know and realize that people around you are going to be wealthier. Look at this, guys. So all the way at the top up there, there's a penthouse on the 34th floor. And you need to realize that that's 20000 a month. That's a lot of money you have to be paying a month to live here, especially in that unit. But overall, there's already people that are already on a higher level as to where I want to be. And there I can connect with them. I can learn from them. I've already met a guy that has a Lamborghini Huracan down here. So, like, he obviously is doing something right to be in that car. But the reason as to why I put myself in a wealthier, more expensive environment is so I can be around people that are already above where I am. And there's a rule. It says it's a 33% rule. Basically, it says th spend 33% of your time with people that are below you so you can, like, educate them. You can help them out. And then spend 33% of your time with people that are above you, maybe like a couple of years above you. And then you want to spend your time with people that are like five, 10 years above you. So you get the 33% from your friends that are below you, the ones that are barely above you, and then the ones that are really above you. And that's what you guys have to be doing. Like someone said, the power of association, that is so true, guys. You constantly need to be around the right people. And I know it was like when, um, when I was um, first getting involved in the entrepreneurship, it was really hard to find the right people that to be around because a lot of people are above me. And when people are already above you on a higher level, they don't really want to come down to the level that you're on. So it was hard because I was with my friends who were like on my level, but at the same time, they're below me because they didn't have the same mindset that I had. And it was hard. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I ended up cutting a lot of my friends out. Yes, fr friends. They just wanted to party and stuff, but they didn't get, want to get the work done. That's when I really realized that my friends honestly didn't give a fuck about me. I took everything serious. I took my business serious. And I asked most every single one of my friends, hey, do you want to join this business with me? I'd love to work with you and see what we can do together other than like having fun and stuff. And none, zero. There's maybe like one or two of my friends that actually joined the business with me. 
they took it seriously and they're still consistently working to the day I am. So you guys need to realize it's lonely at the top. People don't want you to win. Like honestly guys, think of it this way. If you're in your friend group, wouldn't it kind of affect you, bother you in a way? If you saw one of your friends that was all of a sudden doing way better than you, he had a way nicer house, he had a way nicer cars because of efforts that he put in to get further, it really does. A lot of my friends hated me. They stopped supporting me because I was doing better, but I had to sacrifice things. So many nights, so many parties, all these adventures. I had to sacrifice even family parties, being with my family and stuff. And it was hard, but look, that's why I am where I am today. Because I made these certain sacrifices to be where I am today. And a lot of people nowadays, I watch it every fucking weekend. These people are so concerned about the next party, the next club that they're going to go to. Just like they're always looking for that short-term high. They're looking for that little excitement they're going to get for a couple of hours being with their friends. And then they're going to wake up the next morning feeling like shit. Probably regretting the night before, spending a lot of money. I know I've done that so many times before. And... Really, guys, the law of attraction is the biggest fucking thing. You guys need to be around the right people. And like I said, I didn't have many friends when I was first starting out my entrepreneurship. That's why I had to cut people out. I had to do things like self-development. If you guys cannot be around people that are on a higher level than you, what you could do is self-development. Reading and getting advice from people that are already successful, like Ty Lopez, like Gary V, like Bob Protractor. Those are a couple of people that are huge in the industry. And obviously, they have the results that you want. So it might be hard to actually get that personal connection with someone. And you just have to do it. You have to get your face out there. So, guys, realize that where you are today is not going to define where you are tomorrow. I know there are so many nights where I fucking literally cried, worked my ass off to get to where I am now, to live this type of lifestyle. And you know what? Do you know what? This is a pretty nice view if you ask me. And the thing is too, I have my own junior pet house and I look at my friends, they're still living at their parents' house. Okay. And those people that are below me still want to talk shit, act like they're on a higher level than me. But like at the end of the day, results fucking people lie, bro. Results fucking talk. That's why they say people lie. Men and women lie. Numbers do not lie. At the end of the day, I can show anyone the amount of money that I make. And that's because I make that certain amount of value because I am bringing a certain amount of value to the marketplace. You are paid for the value that you bring. People bitch, they complain, why don't I make this amount of money? Why don't I do this? Why don't I have my nice house? Because you guys aren't bringing enough value. We, as human beings, think about ourselves 99.5% of the time. We do. I mean, look at this way. When we go take a picture, let's say that I'm with Drizik in here. I'm with Nando. I'm with UMX. I'm with Mar. I'm with Jay Large and Carlos. Let's say we all take a picture, right? After the picture is taken... The first person that I'm going to look at, myself. What if my eyes are closed? I'm going to automatically say, oh, the picture isn't good because my eyes are closed. That proves right there. And we as human beings think about ourselves 99.5% of the time. That's what a lot of people do. And it's sad. Like, it's fucked up. A lot of people don't have consideration for anyone else. But that's where it comes down. Where we have to sacrifice things. Our own well-being. You put, I was actually at church the other day and it said that you're supposed to put God first, then your family, then your business. Because if you have God, he's going to be there to watch over everything. He's going to make sure your business dwells. He's going to make sure your family is all right. It's really coming down and sacrificing and sacrificing the parties that the fun you have. And there really is nothing that you get out of party, not doing anything throughout the day. There's no accomplishment being made, no progression. We as humans, all right, buddy, we don't need to hear your nonsense. You could just leave the feed. But we as human beings, we what are what we get real happiness from is progression, seeing ourselves grow on an everyday basis, doing things that are going to help us get to the next level in life. And whenever I put in work, I do something differently, and I am done at the end of the day working. I'm like, shit, like I made a lot of progress today. It makes me happy. 
when you are happy, it lets off endorphins in your brain that actually tend to make you even happier. So when you're progressing at a higher and higher level each day, you're gonna keep getting happier and happier and happier. Meaning that you're gonna be performing at a much higher level as you wouldn't be able to do if you were like sad, you were depressed, you aren't focusing on things that are gonna get you further in life. And it's hard guys, like I said, the greatest thing that I ever did was separate myself from the people who didn't give a fuck about getting further in life. And it, it's hard, that's why they have the 3%, and the 97%, like people do not want it as bad. People talk to talk, they will say, oh I want this, I want that, I want that, like that's cool. Where's the action and the work that you are gonna put in to execute on those goals? So at the end of the day, when you see me in this nice house and you're like, damn, how did you do that? I sacrifice things. I put in work to get to where I am today. And I had to do things differently. I fucking observed the masses. I did the complete opposite. Yeah, you guys saw me at the club. Did you see the other night when I was at the club? I said, spend 3% of your time like the 97% and spend 97% of your time like the 3%. Do you guys, I'm sorry to say it, but a lot of you are not doing and putting the disciplines into your life that the 3% have. Reading, doing self-development every day. Do you, are you joking? When people get off their 9 to 5 job, they're so fired up, so pissed off, just tired of the day doing shit that they hate all day, that when they come home, their decompression time goes into watching TV, sitting on the couch, bitching at their family because they're already upset. They're not doing things like working on their fortune. A lot of you, you just come home, you watch TV, you play video games, and you expect the next day to see a result that you didn't see the day before, but you're really not sacrificing doing things that you're not willing and will put you into uncomfortable positions. When you are uncomfortable, you learn things about, the, you're, you learn things about yourself that you never knew. You honestly do when you're, it's just like saying, how are you gonna know if you don't like seafood? How are you gonna know if you don't like burgers or pizza without trying it? The best way to figure out what you do and you don't like in life and what really works for you and doesn't work is by trying it. You have to try all these new foods to see, well like, all right, I don't like fish, I tried it, it's not for me, but I like burgers because I tried that as well. That's what you guys need to do. It's it's gonna be a difficult road for a lot of you that are starting your entrepreneurship and trying to progress, but really just be around the fucking right people. Your time is so valuable. Even if you don't have that much money you're being made with your time or whatever it is, your time is something we never get back. You honestly never know what you have until it's gone. We can all like, what if I died tonight? I would die and I'd be a happy person knowing that I brought so much fucking value to the marketplace. I've helped people get what they want in life. I have put people in uncomfortable positions but made them into a better person than they were before they had met me. That's what it really comes down to is developing all these skills and using them in the right way to affect other people. I can make millions of billions of dollars but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what is my real duty? Your duty as a human being is to give back. That's why with my money, like, I wanna make money. Money is a beautiful thing. But with the money I make, I can use that to build charities. I can use that to build skill schools. I can use that to retire my parents. You can do amazing things with money. That's why it's such a beautiful thing, but if you focus on the whole money-making aspect, the real core reason as to why so many people make so much fucking money is because they are bringing real value. If you constantly put yourself in the mindset of, I wanna make money, 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 you're gonna basically manipulate yourself in a way to thinking, I wanna do things that are gonna make me money. And then when you don't make any money in the process of trying to make money, you get a little discouraged. You think to yourself, all right, well, what I'm doing isn't making me money. I don't know if this is like what makes me money. You need to be focused on the value. What can you do for another human being to where they can pay you? We were in the park earlier today and I like, there's this homeless guy and I think it's fucked up how a lot of people ignore homeless people and they don't talk to them and have conversations. Like they're humans, like they might have some psychology problems or mental health issues. It really doesn't fucking matter. But my buddy, like we pulled up on this guy and we started talking to him. He's like, hey, do you wanna buy a knife? And, he's, and my buddy's like, yeah, sure. And they like looked at the knife and 
he bought it off him. He bought it $10 over two. He bought two knives for $30 a homeless guy wanted and he gave him like $45. And that's simply because he had something that my friend wanted. He had something of value that attracted him and that's why he made that sale. And in return by him giving value to my friend, he was given money. This guy's trying to get his Visa card or he was trying to get like some card, citizenship card, I think, or something, but now he got that. He has like the money he needs to get to where he wants to do, and that's simply by him bringing value, doing something different, guys. So I'm gonna get off this, guys, but if you guys don't know me, if this is the first time you've heard me talk, message me. Let's connect, let's talk a little more, let's get to know each other and see how we can benefit each other. But guys, uh, look at this view one more time. These are views from hard work, guys. I've always wanted to live in a penthouse like this my whole entire life and now I'm able to do that at fucking 21 years old because I sacrificed things, I hung around the right people and I did things that the 97% won't do.